particularly if you look like me. I'm a short, small man. Small because I'm five, two and a half. I have no appearance. I have no presence. I have no social personality. What you see is exactly what you get. I am who I am. Period. And I, my advice to anybody in that kind of position is don't try to imitate or do what your hero figure does. It won't work for you. Or pick up the stupid quirks of your social hero figure. Remember, that fits his personality. That fits his phenotype. That fits the way he looks physically in the environment. That fits the power in his body. That fits the mind and body connection, the two of them working as a unit. That fits knowing yourself perfectly. Where am I vulnerable? That's the question you always ask yourself. Where am I vulnerable? Where can my opposition take advantage of me? In my case, it's my big face. It's my moon face. It's my height, five, two and a half. It's my proportions. My big fat baby. And if, I'm, if I don't have no conditioning, soft muscle tissue. And bottom line, I have no neck. Bottom line, what they see in the now. What you look like and how you behave in the now is everything. There's nothing more to say. It's the beginning and the end of the story. It's who you are. Period. Tell me about the patterns. Tell me about what's happened to you and be very forthright about it in, in your attempts to represent yourself. What went wrong? What happened? Tell it to me. Be very forthright about it. I demand it. I'll find out anyway. Because I'm like a pit bull, a good detective like Sherlock Holmes. I'm going to chase it down. I'm going to ask a lot of questions. And you have to be very resourceful. And in this game, my friend, compensation is the game. Do it to him first before he does it to you. Anticipate his next move. Be there at the chase before he gets there. When you're dealing with a woman, never let the woman get the football. You hold on to it and run with it. Because if she gets the football because of mistakes you make in the communication, your posture, your fear in your voice, your lack of confidence and your height, your big old moon face and big fat baby, you'll never get it back again. Nobody can help you. The only advice in a situation like this has to be practical. Nothing else will work. And there's no practical. When you're outclassed, outclassed get out. And you have to learn the art of being inconspicuous to make yourself disappear in the presence when you feel the heat get out there's no advice get the hell out find some excuse any excuse get out move on this is not your environment the power you have is the power to move on get out the power you have is always the power to assert yourself. Assert yourself. And the bottom line is everything happens in the now. That means the way you dress, the way you behave, is a now phenomenon. You can prepare, you can get yourself, and you should and you must get yourself in tremendous fighting trim. Build your body up. You're a small man, you've got to drive iron. There's no other way to do it. You gotta put as much muscle and muscle power into your body so you don't fear a bigger man. <clears throat> so you know for sure if you grab that bigger man, you can hold him. That takes power in your hands, power in your body, and will in your mind. All of this is vital. Your life depends on it, my friend. It's all a matter of will. 
It's all a matter of a correct identification of what the problem is, where the problem is, how is the problem a problem. You have to descri describe to me exactly what you said and what you did in the now and what your opponent said and did in the now. And you better tell me the truth because I'll find out anyway and we'll work with that. As simple as that. But it all begins with knowing who in the hell you are, what you are, how you are, you're who, how do you behave out there, what are the patterns, that's what I look for, patterns, what's happened in the past, I'll question them, I'll go right after them, and I think that's most important, I don't do this to bore anybody, I don't do, do this to be a, uh, to depress anybody, that's not my purpose at all. If you're depressed, stay well. You have to ask yourself, why is what I'm saying depressing? What is it within you? What are the patterns within you that define what I'm saying as depressing or as discouraging? It, it has nothing to do with any of that. Mine is the most encouraging of all. Think about that. That's heavy. Not depressing at all. There's nothing depressing in what I'm saying. I'm telling the truth. If the truth is depressing, then let the truth be depressing. But I'm only telling the truth with a small T. I'm always ready for challenge, for questioning. And again, I reiterate, I wouldn't say it unless I can stand behind every single word I'm saying for criticism, for pushback. As long as you do it with respect, as long as you show me the respect I demand, I don't just demand it, I'll take it. If you don't give me respect as a man, I'll take it. That's a given. You talk to me like a man. You don't cheap shot, you don't ridicule, you don't mock, and you don't look to humiliate me because I won't stand for that. I will not, I will not turn the cheek to that kind of bullshit. I'll take care of it right then and there where it happened. And then we'll go our separate ways. We'll, we'll come up with the, with the usual bullshit. You have a nice day. I have a nice day. Goodbye and good luck. Good talking to you. Well, great talking to you too. All that surface bullshit which we know all too well. This is the politics of life.